My name is Eric Taymor. I'm uh, 40 years of age. Yeah, I, I'm from Georgia, Tbilisi. But I'm grown up in Moscow, Russia. I have a long amateur career. In uh, 2001, I came to England and I start professional boxing on Peacock Gym. 2004, I won a WBU world title. And this has been uh, like my last fight. So Eric, tell us about, because you know I boxed back in the 70s, yeah? yeah, you know, yeah. I boxed in England, and we went, to, uh, we went to Romania and the European, we met the Russian people, you know, we met Lem Lemeshev, yeah, you know, famous Russians. Great, great, great fight, fighter, great fighters. Yeah. And that old team was great, you know, that old yeah, team yeah. was great. So tell us about your amateur career in Russia. Yeah, I started boxing in Georgia. Uh, okay. When I've been 10, my dad take me to boxing club, and uh, yeah, I start. I win some kids competition in Georgia, and after my dad uh, work in Russia, you know, uh -huh. and he took me. This three years later, he take me to Russia, Moscow, uh -huh. and I go to gym there and start my career there, you know, amateur. I living sports school. This is army army school, CSK. Uh -huh. This is like a club where is the all like the different different uh, sportsmen live. You know, like wrestling, yeah. boxing, football, hockey, gymnastic girls. Like yeah, yeah, yeah I, I have lots of lots of. And did you fights. win many amateur fights? What did you win? Did you yeah, win like I've been uh, last my fight, last my amateur fight has been 2000 Russian Championship. I came second. When did you turn pro? pro? Eric? Yeah, 2001, one uh, Russian manager invited me. I came here to, used to be Lennox Lewis Center in Clapton. Okay. Okay. I stayed there to sign contract with uh, Lennox Lewis promoter. If you remember this, Panos, Greek man, Greek okay. guy, okay. Panos. Panos yeah. Yeah. And I stayed three months, nothing, no contracts, nothing. and. I don't know, he's been busy yeah. with something else. And, uh, he didn't get you a fight? No, no fight. And he gave me a contract. I, and I read it's been a little bit... No, no good contract for yeah, me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And I just tried to go back to Russia. And uh, I meet that period, three months. Uh -huh. I meet uh, one Russian guy. He always come to Lennox Lewis Center, you know, yeah, like yeah, training. Yeah, yeah. And he told me, Eric, don't go. I know one nice, good club. He's a good people. This is a peacock gym. Uh, great. I said, okay, let's speak to them, get sparring to look after, and uh, I come. And, and I you've think been here two, two, three days yeah. later, he back to me, he said, Eric, let's go to peacock gym. Like, people want to see you, like sparring. That's it. I came here and, and I spar with Gary Delaney first. Gary, yeah. yeah I remember Gary. Two rounds. Yeah. I remember with Gary and two rounds with Elvis. Elvis. Elvis yeah. Michalenko, yeah. He won a European title. European Elvis, title. Yeah. WBA International. He won champion, that too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Eric, you, you joined the Peacock. Um, tell me about that time when you joined and yeah, your, yeah. your time getting to the world title fight. Yeah. I have uh, like I you 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 remember used to I stay here, live. I knew you lived in the back, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just been focusing boxing, you know? Yes. To train hard, to 
win fights. Yeah, we are, we've been busy. We have lots of peacock, peacock shows, I fight and different. And different how many shows. fights did you have before you had that world title fight? Uh, I think 15? 16, 15, 15, 15, something, 17. Yeah. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and I've been ready for this, you know. I know all the time. Title fight. Sure. Eric, tell me about that world title fight and who you boxed and how did it go? Yeah, I boxed uh, Nathan King, Welsh boy from Wales. Okay. He's a tough, strong boy. Yeah, we done uh, 12 rounds. I win uh, points. But this one been, I think, my last last fight. It's your last fight, yeah? And, uh, and hardest fight. I mean, hardest fight because I lost, uh, been, I have a problem, you know? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that yeah. And this is... Um, I lost too much weight, but still in, I, for that I fight, won. For that yeah, fight, yeah. you lost too much yeah, weight. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel and, uh, it drain you in that fight? Yeah, I've been, I've been strong, but yeah. I, I didn't been hundred percent strong. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, like, like I used to be. Yeah. I don't know. I've been a little bit hard to lose weight. Yeah, get, of course. Get that weight, super middle yeah. weight. Eric, tell us your your position now at the Peacock, and tell us about the girls you train. Yeah, well, Peacock. This is like my home. You know. I'm 20 years here, and uh, this is I feel it here like my home, and everything is nice and a peacock gym friendly. Yeah. Uh, what I doing now? I doing a, a trainer like teaching boys, help Martin. We have a professional boys, Daniel the boys, yeah. James Branch, Denzel, Chris. We have lots of good prospects, young I prospects, think so, yeah. I think and. Um, and one day, just my friend asking me to train a girl, you know, friend of. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, Mia, she's named Mia. She's came, passed num my number, and she called me, and she came, peacock, and I train yeah. once a week, two times a week. I start training. This is first girl who You've I start trained. training. Yeah. Okay. I never train girls, you know. No, of course. And now she enjoying, and she she want to start fight, amateur fight, get license and fight. And I help, and she bring another girls, friends, and we arrange every Saturday now. You have the you have a sparring. Session. Yeah, ten o'clock, nine thirty. We have a girls sparring and different different girls come. And they love it, don't they? The girls? Yeah, yeah, love it. They love it. Enjoying, you know. Just like and we. Used girls, to. yeah, girls now learning and yes, happy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they enjoy it. I can see. Eric, what do you think of women's boxing? I don't know. Now very popular. I see. Uh, women's box is very popular in the Olympic now. Girls doing used before used to girls in fight Olympic. Okay. Now is Olympic, yeah. Yes. Olympic is there sport. Russian girls boxing now in the Olympics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Russian yeah? is a strong, good team coming. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't know, girls enjoying. Yeah, like we enjoy. Yeah, yeah. They seem a few um, Before, yeah. before I yeah. look little different, you know, girls. Yeah. When, the, but now when the, I train, it's and I see, different. Yeah, it's it different, different. Yeah. It's the movement. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about Maria, who's pretty strong, and a little bit too much for the well. She, the girls held their own, but yeah. she was a little bit too much for them. Yeah, that's, Tell us about her. What do you think about yeah, her? Yeah, she's she's very good, strong girl. She's a nice person, and uh, uh, I'd be happy to she she spar today with Mia. And another girl, uh, because Aggie. Aggie, yeah, and um, because she's strong, and uh, Mia can learn, you know, yeah, from course, them. Yeah, yeah, sure. I know it's a little bit hard for Mia and Aggie, yeah, but uh, this is the uh, only way. Yeah, of course. To always spar better than you, you know, yeah. people. But only this way to uh, yeah. come in better and stronger. Sure, okay. Maria, she's a good, strong girl, and uh, she's. Yeah, she's gonna be, I think. A champion? Champion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope. I you hope are, she's yeah. be champion. I'm here with Maria Melenita. <laughs> hey, Maria, uh, how long have you been boxing for? Well, uh, pure boxing I've been doing for uh, less than three years, but oh, I've please. been in uh, kickboxing for uh, since I was 17, so was 14 well, years. How did you get on in the kickboxing? Where did you get to? In, uh, originally, I'm from Croatia, yeah. so I started in Split, my hometown, with kickboxing. Okay. And did you get it very far? Did you win a title in yeah. kickboxing? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, after Croatia, I went to Paris, okay. then Amsterdam, then right. Thailand, so I lived everywhere. And okay. I'm two times world champion Wonderful, and yeah. two times European champion in oh, kickboxing. Brilliant, that's fantastic. So now you turn your hand to boxing. What do you think of the boxing? Well, many people ask me why I turn over. And uh, to be honest, I don't know still the reason, you know, but I, I find it more difficult. 
The training is more hard, it's more enjoyable also. So. And you like the physical contact? I love the physical contact. I noticed you was punching them around the body a lot. You like body punching? I love body punching. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like you weaken the body. body, the head falls, yeah? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what's your next objective from now? Uh, so now we are going end of the month to Europeans. Okay, what well, European title? Uh, no, no, it's um, amateur. Oh, you're still year. amateur, okay. Uh, we're going to take our time. I mean, I moved here to turn professional, but then yes. I met Brian, so we decided to take it more easy. So we're yes. going to try to qualify for Olympics. Okay. Which would raise up the profile, and then next year we are turning pro okay. 100%. But and what did you think about the other girls? They. Um, they're not up to your standard, are they? Well, uh, I, I've been seeing them in a the gym. They work hard. Uh, I think I'm a bit more experienced. Yeah. But I think they did a good job. They, they were just coming yeah, they forward. They kept coming. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. And you had to work hard and hard to go and have a Exactly, breathe. exactly. That's why I was also focused more to the body. Yeah. And I'm aggressive in my yes, style, you know. I, I try that. to control my power, but sometimes I go yeah. out of control. Yeah. Because so. you didn't want to hit them too hard, did you? I didn't, but then in one point I was like, okay, I need goes. to calm down. Yeah, I know. I, I just get that. too excited. I'll go for a walk sometime. Yeah, That's the yeah, yeah. Go for a walk. <laughs> but they keep, keep they going. They keep coming. I'm like, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're good. They're good, yeah. Yeah, how did you end up with Brian at the peak? Uh, well, uh, I came here and to be I was professional. Uh, to be professional. You know, yeah. I, I didn't know where I'm going to train or nothing. So I went from gym to gym. I was actually here also, but I didn't meet Brian here. Okay. And I couldn't find a perfect trainer for myself, you know? Yes. So after five, six, seven months, I finally find, uh, found Brian oh, in good. a KO gym in Bethnal Green. And how many fights have you had in this country? In this country, I didn't have a lot. I had a few unlicensed. And now, like maybe seven, eight amateurs, but not actually in this country, but since I'm yeah. living here. How have you been doing? Are you winning? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I lost actually two. I lost two, but against, it was Close. like this, you yeah, know, 50, like 50, yeah. really good tournaments. And I won one tournament. So. Okay. My name's Brian O'Shaughnessy, I'm 58 years old. Uh, I'm a boxing coach, I coach professionals, amateurs and keep fitters at the Peacock Gym in Cannon Town. I uh, started boxing when I was 13 at uh, Fairburn House, then I moved to uh, West Ham and that's where I learnt my trade really, at West Ham with Mickey May. You see the girl stars, like your girl Maria. Maria Malencia, yeah. yeah. She's two times world champion. She's two times Croatian champion, uh, amateur champion. Uh, she's two time world K1 champion. Uh, she's European, uh, I think, kickboxing champion. Yeah, so. I think she'll go really well because we was gonna go pro. Um, that was the initial. That was the initial plan. Yeah, but I said to her, get some experience as amateur. Uh, then she got some experience as amateur. Then we was waiting. Uh, to get uh, to get a license or to get seen by a yeah. promoter, but where it was taking a bit long, I said just go back to amateur, see what see what happens. And then she went to uh, Croatia. They picked her up for the national team. She fought in the nationals. She won the nationals, 64 kilos. So I was, and they was interested. And I said, uh, you know, we might be able to get you in the Olympics. So I said, go, yeah. So I said, go for it. Um, see where it gets you. And it's all good learning. You still you still can make the transition. So she's two-time national champ. She won it at 60 kilos this year. We're going for the Europeans this month. And um, fingers crossed, all goes well, you know. Yeah, tell me, Brian, how did you meet Maria? That was at another club I was running. Um, that was in uh, Stepney Green. Uh -huh. uh, is that the RBU? Uh, Call Box Gym. Um, oh. It was next, situated next to KO Gym, which is the Muay Thai Gym. OK. Uh, so Maria came in there. Um, she just came over to England, she was trying to find a gym, so yeah. she, she was living locally. Um, so she was training there for a couple of months, but she always used to look over to our section, because our section was just pure boxing, okay. and it's what she wanted to do. So yeah. um, she introduced herself, asked if she can join our, our class, and that was it, that's what we met from there. Yeah, but what do we you think clicked. of this girl boxing, what do you think? I think um, it's, the, it's the days of equal rights as well. And no, but like when you watch them sparring, it, and yeah. we're watching them, yeah. and we're being boxers, yeah. we're looking at it as a boxing match, aren't we? Yeah, for Not sure, that for like sure. it's two girls, it's no. like you're looking at it like it's a boxing match. For sure, for sure. And so like, that goes out the window. That now. goes out the window. But if you look at the boxing, women's boxing before, yeah. it was a bit raw, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. But now the women's boxing has come up to a level where you don't mind watching it. Yeah. You know, it's just like you say, it's just like watching, watching them, two yeah. guys fight. Two fight, yeah. You know what I mean? And they've got 
they've got the skill, they've got the aggression, they've got they've got the talent. I know so, like, so Maria likes the body, didn't she? Likes to hit the body. Well, that was what we was playing on today is work with the body. She must have got that Joe Fraser. He says hit the body <laughs> and the head will fall. Will fall for yeah. sure, for sure. Then, Brian, what's the potential of Maria, and that where can she go? Well, the potential at the moment is what we're looking at at the moment is trying to qualify for the Olympics. Okay. If she qualifies for the Olympics, um, that will do her profile of the world again. Uh -huh. And then the ultimate ambition is to turn pro. So if she can turn pro with going to the Olympics, you know, okay. her future's bright. Because you've got to be a little bit lucky in this game, no matter how talented you are. Yes, of course. If she's got a little bit of luck, you know, you won't go as far as you can. Yes. But, yeah, so Brian, tell us about her sparring today. She sparred eight rounds today. She sparred eight rounds with two Non stop. Yep, eight rounds with two different girls. And she felt well about that? She felt good. Uh, today, the, the girls, no disrespect to the girls, but they was on a bit of a lower level. Yeah, than, of course they were. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, we were just working on stuff instead of yeah. really going in hard. Yeah. It's just trying to get in, get oh, no, out, she never throwing, uses, throwing a single shot. Sometimes that's out. a single yep. shot. And sometimes um, move it, just have a move just about. Just have a move about. Don't have no contact. Exactly, but Maria likes to get stuck in, so I had yeah. to pull the reins back a I few know, times. I know, I saw that. Come on, sorry. Yeah, but it's, um, it's a good spot. It's a good spot for the girls as well, the other girls, because they've okay. got a bit of experience for them. Yes. Yeah, so right, it's yeah. good all round, yeah. My name is Agat, or Aggie for short. I'm 32, 33 next week, and I'm a video editor, but my ambition is to become a professional boxer. Aggie? Yeah, so you said you just want to become a professional boxer, but tell me, have you had any amateur boxing bouts yet? I've had two bouts. Only two? Only two. I've had, I've prepared for six, I've had four okay. cancelled. Okay. Uh, a few people not wanting to fight me, so... Oh, they, uh, oh, they don't yeah. want to fight you, so you get yeah. a reputation. I, yeah, That's I think uh, my level, for two fights, my, but also because I've been training for six more six fights in total. Okay. And I've only had two bouts. I kind of, you know, have the level of someone who's had six. Kind of thing, okay. But don't you think you should stay amateur for a while so you learn the game before you go professional? Yeah. But the amateur game is different than professional. I have a more aggressive style. I think yeah. the amateur style is more in and out. In and out. Yeah. And I just get like getting stuck in and uh, okay. keeping the pocket a bit yes. more. You know. Yeah. Aggie, how did you get to uh, meet Eric? So I went to a ladies only sparring class like last year okay. and I met Mia and then we get, became friends and uh, she's training with Eric so yes. she brought me on. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, why didn't you join the Repton with Mia? Because it's way too far for me and also I have I have my own coach. And, okay. Where do you, where's your coach? Where is it? My coach is North London. Uh, it's not is that amateur. Islington? No, it's, uh, it's called Top Primate and uh, we're just independent, so we're working oh, from different gyms. So that's why it's, I can't really go amateur either. Okay. Yeah, yeah talk to me about sparring Mar uh, Maria yeah. today. That looked yeah. really tough. Yeah, that was amazing. Especially when she's punching you to the body. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. I, I love sparring and I love hard sparring. That's like, but I you, think. Tell me, you got, I mean, Mia's not really aggressive, but are you aggressive? Yes. You're different, you're, you're very aggressive. Yeah. yeah? And yeah. you want to hurt your opponent? No, well, when I'm fighting, yes. yes. Not when, when I'm sparring. Fighting. Yeah. yeah. I want to knock them out. Of course, <laughs> there you go. Knock them. Yeah, can you take the punch? Yes, okay. all day. I mean, I should it. That's why my hands are too low. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I noticed she just punches you to the body, but yeah. not the head so much. Yeah. Caught you now and then in the head. Yeah, you know? but it, it, didn't, it didn't hurt, to be fair, so okay. I mean. Cool. What you want to do is work more on your movement, yeah? Work more on my movement. Yeah, movement, not just in a straight line, yeah? Yeah. Left, you know, more balance, yeah. rock a bit. My jab a bit more. Yeah, jab a bit more. A bit more body. But when yeah. you throw a jab, always be careful, a left hook don't come over the top. Yeah. 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 So you've got to be very precise, you know? True. Head down. Right? Did you learn anything from Maria today from the sparring session? Um, yeah, I think to kind of uh, keep my hands a bit higher, because I just tend to have uh, yeah, my lead a bit. hands a bit yeah, low. I noticed that you kept going forward all the time. Yeah. And you was tiring her out a bit, Maria. Maria got fed up eating you, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, I got a few uh, yeah, got, cuts. <laughs> I've seen you got a few, yeah. yeah. I mean, she did do eight rounds, so I'm sure she was yeah, she pretty knackered by the <laughs> My name is Mia Wilkinson. I'm 27 years old. I'm from County Durham, but live in Hackney. And I've just started the amateurs. I want to test myself and see how far I can get in that. So what's your ambition? Um, well, I want to try amateurs, just see how it goes. I'd like to just do a fight, you know. Have you ever Try done? Some. Have you ever done any boxing? Um, I did classes. I started off doing like classes, boxer size classes. That's so. how you know how to stand up correctly, yeah. Yeah, kind of. And then I, I like it, so I watch boxing. I like boxing matches. I watch a lot of them. Do you tell me that when you're in there, do you want to earn? 
Uh, I'm not sure. Women's boxing isn't really an earner. No, I'm not saying an earner. Do you want to hurt them? Oh, your opponent. I need to learn how to want to do you that. You learn how to hurt your opponent. I'm a little bit too nice. You're too nice. Yeah, I need to be a bit angry. Be a bit more spiteful. Yeah, that's right. With say. intentions. With intentions. I don't really have that yet, but it'll come hopefully. Yeah, it'll come, I'm sure. When I you get smacked to... on the nose. I've been smacked you're... on the nose. And it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, you have to come down and spar with me. I'm liven you up. I know. You just, I just need to get there. Okay. I need to get in my head, try and like learn how to be. Yeah. You're not taught like that. Like, with, so I'm how many women like down the reptum now? There's um. Five. Any, any, any capable, great, capable ones there? Great now? ones. Yeah. Like one's going to go to the Olympics. Okay. Two of them are going to the Olympics. Oh, okay. Um, one of them's won like all of the like European national titles, whatever you can oh, do. So do you spar with them? Or yeah, not? yeah. Oh, so you're learning off them. Yeah. That's they're, why they're a bit smaller though, like smaller weights. Okay. So when I sparred Maria, she's probably about the same. You know, whatever. I don't know actually how much. What she do wears. you do apart from? trying to be an amateur boxer, what do you work at? Personal trainer. Oh, you're a personal trainer. So that's the second personal trainer. The other one was a personal trainer. Maria. So yeah, where do you do that? At mobile, just everywhere. Oh, you just go? Travel to people's houses or? Well, you do it on the like on that? Park, yeah. no, no, just word of mouth. So how did you find Eric? So I work as a night in a nightclub as well, or okay. I used to, doing the door, the okay. door girl, not the bouncer. Okay. And one of the security is really good friends with Eric, okay. and uh, used to come here, Peacocks, years ago. Is it Oscar? No, Matty. Matty. And uh, I was telling Matty, you know, I've been going to, I did a lot of sparring in classes, yeah. and it never ends well, because you spar with beginners who don't know how to control yeah, cool. the power, yeah. or men, I've had broken ribs and stuff, like, no. in the air. Really? Yeah, and I, that's why I wanted to do amateur, because it's controlled, and yeah. you learn rather than brawl. I don't want to, I mean, I can't no. brawl anyway. I wish I knew a little bit how to. Yeah. Uh, so I was getting a bit frustrated, because I was like, so you, I, I want to learn properly and test myself. You find Eric's really good. I did see you in the ring, sparring. You didn't get the right hand off. You should have got the right hand off more. Yeah, it's the first but time But when I you went on the pads, you got it off. Yeah, I'm working relaxed. on that, yeah. I panic a bit in there. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You've got to relax panic, when you're Don't in relax, there. Yeah. yeah. But it's the first time. And Eric... how did you find the spa with Maria? Oh, it was good, yeah. I mean, I wish I'd done better for her. She's a pretty tough girl, isn't she? She's uh, really good, really, really yeah. good, yeah. So I wish I'd done a little bit better to, <laughs> to hang so with her you... a little bit. And Mia, it was great seeing you sparring today. And we wish you all the best for the future. And we'll be looking out for you. Thank you. Take care, yeah? Thank you. Good luck.